my recent video asked me actually how am I finding long distance. Good morning. It is Friday and it is a very exciting weekend here in the UK. So basically, ever since I met UK man, he has been talking about this cheese festival. He loves cheese. And this weekend is the cheese festival weekend. He is at work right now. It is Friday and I am going to go into town to look for a cute autumnal outfit to wear to this cheese festival because the cheese festival is tomorrow and I just want to look cute and autumnal and obviously I have none of my real autumn clothes here in the UK like my outfit situation is horrendous <laughs> it's so bad um so I want to get just a cute outfit I just want to look cute you know so that is the vibe I also I'm having intrusive thoughts all week to just get like a semi-permanent box dye or glaze or something that I can do to just give my hair a bit of life because I got a glaze a few weeks ago when I was back in Ireland which now is over a month I guess five weeks ago but my roots are coming in again so they look kind of dull and my hair overall just looks kind of dull and I want to fix that so I'm gonna get a cute outfit I'm gonna get something I'm not gonna get a semi-permanent black box dye I think I'm just gonna get like a chocolate brown like something to just give my hair a bit of life I know the lighting in here right now isn't the best so you can't see it but it just needs more life um do you know what I just realized actually I probably shouldn't be putting hair oil maybe I'll have to wash my hair but I probably shouldn't be putting hair oil on before I do box dye but anyway because I'm gonna do that to my hair today and make it look all nice but before I do that I'm gonna put in this Rapunzel oil I only put two and two together the other day that this oil is probably the reason my hair is growing so fast because I just kept thinking like since the end of June my hair has just been growing like wildfire and then I was kind of like oh it was summer and I spent a lot of time in the sun yada 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 that's why but I actually think it could be this hair oil and I mean it's called the Rapunzel hair oil so it would make sense as to why my hair is growing so fast <laughs> so yeah the, the vibe is I want to get a cute autumnal outfit and something to give my hair a bit more life Speaking of giving my hair life, I'm using this smooth stick to just whoop, smooth everything down. This robe is just out of the wash. I have been living in it since I got it. I do have a Skims robe as well, but that's in Ireland. So I want to get that and bring that over to the UK or to Rome. I'm in two minds about going home to Ireland next week before I go back to Rome. Or do I just go straight back to Rome because I literally haven't been in Rome in two months and I just feel like I want to get back to Rome so maybe I'll just give Ireland a mist also. This is very exciting so actually I'm gonna get dressed first and then I'll tell you. Okay 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 so I the bus is in five minutes I got my favorite autumn winter perfume back in my life. I'm just going to insert the TikTok of me talking about it because it is so so good and I actually don't have time to yap. Literally the bus is in five minutes. My sunglasses even though it's not sunny the UK has got the coldest cold spell and we're just going to do a little bit of mascara to make me feel awake. Yeah that's it Rebecca get it all over your face. Is this chaotic? Absolutely. And I was there being like, I've loads of time. I'm not gonna do even any makeup. Yada, yada, yada. Here we are. Five minutes before the bus comes. Not prepared, but it's okay. I just need my headphones and my handbag. Oh 
I have never been so annoyed with shops in my life. Oh my God. I'm literally just in the door, hold on. I'm sweating. It's cold, but it's warm. Why was there no, not one single pair of autumn winter boots, not one single cute, like seasonal transitional jacket. The only thing I got <laughs> clothing wise. Okay, first of all, I got this casting cream gloss, semi-permanent um, dark chocolate because yeah, I remember using this when I was like a teenager and I feel like um, dark chocolate is like a good color. It's close to my own. It'll just revive my hair a bit. Anyway, um, I got lashes for the weekend. And then the only items of clothing I bought, th these are actually really nice, so I'm really happy with myself with this, is from H&M. And they're these square neck um, long sleeve tops, like just basics, like autumn winter basics. This is lovely. This was 10 pounds, but then there was like member pricing. So I got it in like a toppy kind of brown. I would have preferred this in like a more chocolatey brown, but I just got like this because I love a square neck. And then I just got a plain white, um, just like a plain white round neck. That's the only clothing I got. No pants. I tried on so many pairs of pants. They were all, number one, they were all really short. And like, I'm not at all girly, like I'm five foot seven and my legs are not that long. And, oh no, sorry, I got one more item of clothing. And that is these socks to match my dressing gown from Primark. Um, but yeah, like so bad. <laughs> I'm so frustrated. Like I'm gonna put my text chain to Neve on the screen because it's mid September. Like usually places get there. Like oh, I went to Primark, I went to H&M, I went to Next, I went to New Look and I went to River Island. They had, all they had, all the only boots I could find were heeled boots. I didn't want heeled boots or like really chunky biker boots. But anyway, this is what else I got. I got a heat protectant. I'd been meaning to get one for a while and I've been using the Dream Lengths mask. Then that's just some water. I got this really cute scrunchie in Primark. It's like a leopard print one and I just think it's really cute for like around the wrist on the hair. Then Holland and Barrett had a bit of a sale on. So I got two different teas. I got my raspberry leaf tea. This, I'm telling you, if you get really bad menstrual cramps, ovulation cramps, um, really bad period, anything like that, this will save your life. It's so good if you take it like once your luteal phase starts, so like the 10 days running up to your period. And then I got this for Mr. UK Man, some stomach ease. Um, and then I also got some castor oil. Uh, because I've been wanting to start doing like castor oil packs or even castor oil in my belly button and I got vitamin B12 and a vitamin E supplement and I also got a Subway so I'm going to mill that now because I literally haven't eaten in hours. UK man's going to be home soon. I can't believe the only items I, of clothing I got are three basic tops and a pair of fluffy socks. I went in to get an autumn, a t autumnal outfit for this cheese festival. I saw one nice leather jacket in H&M, but it was 40 pounds, which is basically around 50 euro. And it like, it, it was really nice, but I was like, do I want that? Like, do I love it? But now I'm like, it's literally the only thing I saw. So maybe I'll go back this evening and get it when UK man finishes work. I don't know. I'm like, do I want to spend 50 pounds or euro or whatever the fuck it is? on a jacket, not really, but I want to look cute and autumnal tomorrow. Also, I found this out, and this video is gonna be live after it happens. My cousin, my one of my best, best, best friends in the whole world, and my cousin, she's basically like my sister, Barbara, Barbara, she is doing an Ironman this weekend, and it's on near me, like in the UK. So I'm gonna figure out how to surprise her at some point, I was just texting her mom. Um, so we're gonna figure out that because She's literally doing it like right near me. So that's exciting. Listen, it's part of my appeal, the chaos. He comes home, he doesn't know what to expect. 
Am I going to be chilling on the couch? Am I going to be watching Gilmore Girls? Am I going to have dark chocolate brown hair dye in my hair? He doesn't know what he's going to get. I. This is called keeping your relationship interesting, people. It looks really dark in this lighting and I can promise you it is not. Can I put up the brightness on this? Okay, I've put up the exposure so you can kind of see. You can't really see, it literally just looks so dark brown, but I, I promise it's not, okay? Okay, we're starting at my roots. See, you can see my roots. Can you? I don't know. There's nothing about me that is a pro right now. I'm just starting by going in my parting and going in the hairline. And then we'll focus on the lengths and the ends. I feel like my ends have been just way darker than my roots and it just makes me look like I have grey hair and I don't have grey hair. I found a grey hair a few months ago but I don't have grey hair, you know what I mean? So I'm just going to go all around the hairline. I see a Gorgina spot coming up. I am looking in the mirror right now in case you're wondering and I'm just trying to get this all in the hairline. You know, all in that front. So I feel like I have a few blondies up here, like in this the peak of my hairline. I feel like I get a lot of blondie hairs. And as you can see, there's absolutely no rhyme or reason to the method that I am using. No method to my madness. I'm just focusing on the root where I part my hair. I just feel like my hair is going so fast at the moment and usually I only get my colour done when I'm in Ireland and I don't know when I'm going to be in Ireland next so a semi-permanent dye will have to do. This is a whole process that I really don't want to do because I now realise that dyeing my hair means also washing and drying it after which like I'm not down for on a Friday evening but the cheese festival is tomorrow, so. You know, I feel like always with dark brown hair dyes anyway, they come out darker than they're supposed to. So I feel like this is gonna almost come out black. Kind of like contour on my head, the hair dye. It's like when people use fake tanned contour, I just used hair dye. Okay, we're just gonna squeeze some into my hands. Someone on my recent video asked me actually, how am I finding long distance? And to that person, I can't remember your usernames um, off the top of my head, but that to that person, I'm answering right now by saying, um, I've been with this man every day straight for the last three weeks. <laughs> so I'm very not, very much so not long distancing currently. And I feel like anyone who has ever done long distance ever knows that every time you leave gets harder. Um, because obviously I met UK man online and like we started being long distance so we're really good at like the FaceTime calls of it all, the Skyping of it all, like ensuring to kind of stay in contact that way. Um, but as I was saying, every time I leave it gets harder. Remember when I said this is how to keep your relationship interesting? <laughs> well, no, okay that's working. I may not have found all winter clothing out and about today, but at least my hair is gonna give autumn winter. Today, ladies and gentlemen, is a big day. It is the cheese festival. It is Saturday. Yeah, it's cheese festival day. We are literally just pulling up there now. It's on in Sturminster, New Newton. Newton. Yes. And my face is puffy because I, didn't get a lot of sleep last night. I'm in my luteal phase and I had some tequila yesterday. So, but I dyed the hair. Oh yeah, this is the result of the hair. It turned out so good. It's like a dark chocolate brown in 
the sun there's kind of like a reddish tinge off it which i like it's giving like bourneville chocolate and then in the dark it looks basically black um i'm in my passenger princess era today as per usual and we're about to go to this cheese festival and not only am i excited about cheese right now but i think they have an incense store Hiros, greek Hiros. they have they have candles, they have Punch and Judy. It's just all happening at the Cheese Fest. So I'm gonna show you around and we're gonna go together, me and you. We are in the car park, about to walk into the Cheese Festival. I'm so happy I decided to dye my hair. How many times have I mentioned my hair in the last few vlogs? I don't know, it's just finally getting long and I'm really happy about it. So yeah, what I'm hoping for out of the Cheese Festival today is maybe like a honey goat's cheese, some melty cheeses. I'm a melty cheese girl. UK man is more of a strong, intense cheese kind of guy. He's a big cheese fanatic. <laughs> Just loves a bit of cheese, that man does. And great dogs. And we've made a pact that if by some chance there are puppies here that we can, we can adopt. We are bringing one home and I'm never returning to Rome. So it's a big, it's a big pack to make, honestly, on a Saturday, but it's fun. Right, this is Le Cheese Festival. I'll probably have to do a voiceover because copyrighted music. We have stalls, we have wood, we have wine, we have cider, we have dogs. Oh look, you can like make your own, you get the necklace thing and you get the crystal. That salted caramel, double chocolate chip. This is good. What is it? Hard cheese, hard sheep stew. Do you want another one, Abel? Uh, no, thank you. Creamy, silky, and nutty. Is it nice? No, it really is. Yeah? Yeah. Normally the warmer the better. Mango and papaya. It's also good on a cracker, don't get me wrong. Mm. Baby onions with balsamic vinegar. That sounds nice. Oh, so cute. <laughs> you could genuinely I tell see you, that. I yeah. tell you. Not We're in the queue for Hiros. It has taken half an hour at least. Half an hour, 45 minutes, yeah. but we're nearly at the top. And I'm actually so excited because I love I think it's a good Hiros. We were at the Raclette one, which is over there, but they ran out of potatoes. <laughs> Devastating. <laughs> So, look, look at the dog we found, it's so cute. <laughs> Worth every second of the wait. This is, we've already dug in. Oh, so good, <laughs> I love your ass. Greek street food Slovakia and their Instagram is Legends Food. Legends Food. So good. Yes. When I say that was one of the best, Hiros I've ever had. It was worth every second of the way. We shared one. I'm gonna get some fresh donuts now. We're gonna get some more Prosecco and we're gonna cheese it up. We're gonna look for a nice melty cheese, maybe a brie, maybe a camembert. I'm gonna look for a goat cheese with honey. We're also gonna look for a hot honey if we can find it. And yeah, it's gonna be a great time. It is a great time. Look at this. The sky is so blue. There's so many amazing dogs around. The vibes are immaculate. And we're having a great time. I'm really happy right now. I couldn't be happier, actually. Okay, this is the next stop. I think it's too warm for hot chocolate, but I'm gonna get, uh, do I want churros or donuts? That's my question. Oh, I don't know which one I want. Oh, I think I'm going towards Hot fresh donuts. I'm going towards hot fresh donuts with white chocolate. I think they're waiting. Donuts or churros? I think donuts. Donuts, on your donuts. Everyone's going for the white chocolate. I'm between the white chocolate and Nutella. Babe, I reckon. White chocolate? Yeah, because you. You can have Nutella any day. Um, Sugar donuts and white chocolate donuts. Can I get 
Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Thanks a million. Just, uh, just cinnamon. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Oh, these look so good. Okay, let's find my man and my Prosecco. Wee! So this is what I wanted. I wanted the Baclan Raclette. But it was sold out. But it sounds so good. I didn't think the nachos was what I wanted. But yeah, this is what we got. Taste test. We sold out. Oh, okay, fair enough. But take that for the journey. Oh, sure. We sold out. Yeah, so. okay. There we go. You want to wrap it in time. a little bit of that and take it? Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah? I can place it in a. Hot pepperoni, hot and dewy. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That sounds like something you'd like. Goodbye cheese festival. Love you, miss you. It doesn't look dry, it looks like you know moisturized kind of thing. Happy Sunday! Okay, so what we are doing currently is Barbara's doing the Iron Man. She doesn't know whereabouts I am in the UK, but turns out we're actually very close to where the Iron Man is on. So we are going to surprise her. But Barbara's ahead of schedule in the Ironman. So she wasn't supposed to finish the bike and start running until one, but she is ahead of her own schedule. So we've been tracking her on the app. We're running to the town center really quickly to go to Lush because I want to pick her up. It's also her birthday on Wednesday, she turns 30. And I think a beautiful birthday present is a care package from Lush, including like a body wash, a scrub, maybe a hair mask um, and a body lotion and I think it'll be really nice as well after finishing an Ironman to get something like maybe their sleepy range or sticky dates. She loved actually my sticky dates when she visited me in Rome so maybe I'll get her that. I'm gonna just run in, get them to box it up, package it um, and we're gonna bring that to the finish line and we're racing. We are racing someone on foot to the finish line right now. Yep. So that's what's happening. Chaos as per usual, but it's a gorgeous Sunday here in the UK. And yeah, I hope we get there in time. I want to get to the finish line at least 10 minutes before she gets to the finish line. So let's see if we can make that happen. Right, okay, we're at Lush. And we're gonna go in. Okay, here we go. Hello, how are you? Yes, good, thanks. How are you, sir? Good. Well, I'm not here for a perfume. You know the new... My, It's my cousin's birthday. Or no, it's my cousin's birthday, but she's also doing the Iron Man. So I was okay. thinking of getting her like a little kind of gift box. Sure, yeah. I'm thinking... I'm thinking, oh, I, for my brain red super milk body lotion, I was like, no way. That would um, be very good. That would be. Sticky dates is great though. She loved my sticky dates shower gel. Yes, yeah, so we've got the lotion now and the body, uh, body scrub, scrub yeah. um, and they smell exactly the is same. Is there anything that like helps with muscles yeah. after? So we've got the CBD shower gels oh. and then we've also got a, one of the sulky bath bombs and the bubble bars and the joint massage bar as well. Oh, a joint really massage sticky. bar. Sounds yeah. great. Yeah, that sounds good. It's like patchouli, really grounding and earthy. Oh yeah, she'd love that. Yeah. That's nice. And this. And the shower gel. I have the shower gel. And then, ooh, sticky dates lotion. She has the massage bar. She has this. Maybe a sticky date scrub, scrub could be good. Yeah. Little one, big one. Sweet 10 or 20. Um, yeah, the big one. Big one? Yeah, she's 30. Amazing. <laughs> um, and then 
my brain saying super milk, but I don't know if she a super milk girl. Maybe, how much is the little super milk? The little one is 14. And the big one's 26. Yeah, maybe a little super milk. Yeah. Yeah, because it's my favorite, so. And it's also one of my favorites. Oh, I love it. Like, it's, I missed the, the shower lotion. I'm so sad. I keep going on like refreshing, <laughs> just <laughs> hoping. Um, yeah, all these. Yeah. Oh, and then can I get a hand? Do you have like a hand soap bar? Uh, we've got the soaps here. Yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Um, we've got the huge, like lemon and coconut. Yeah. Um, oh, the ghost, ghost. one. Is that kind of autumn? Oh, the, oh, the pumpkin. Oh, the pumpkin. That yeah. one smells like um, avocado co wash. So similar to soup okay. milk. Okay. And the pumpkin. The pumpkin is sort of pumpkin y. It smells, I think. Oh, yeah, he doesn't really like Yeah, maybe really? the ghost is cute because yeah. it's Halloween. Yeah, I'll get the ghost. Nice. <laughs> and cool. then I'm done. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, update. I did slight care makeup and not really care makeup. I'm trying to, I don't know. Either way, I went to Lush. I got her some bits. I would do a haul, but we're very much so in the car. Um, I got her a massage bar for joints, a CBD body wash, the sticky dates, um, sticky dates scrub, and a... Uh, Oh, super milk, of course. So I got her all that. I got her flowers. I got her birthday bag, a birthday card. We are 30 minutes away. And allegedly, she's going to finish running in 50 minutes. But if I know Barbara, she is going to finish in 40, maybe even 35 minutes. So we're quite against the clock. We're literally racing her to the finish line. <laughs> Not me making her the Iron Man about me. Um, but yeah, we're going to get there, allegedly. It's worth it. Oh, you're so good for coming! <laughs>